Thanks very much to our historic Scotland uh, stewards once again for forming a little funnel there to make sure that they are not obstructed uh, on the way in. We will bring in the lady and uh, one of the squires straight away just to get you all excited. Meanwhile, our knights will line up there at the side. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, without further ado, please welcome into the arena, my lady Sapphire. My lady will help me make sure that all the rules are adhered to today. Oh, there are rumours, of course, that she's already been a bit biased and she has her favourite. Unfortunately, accompanying her at the moment is Squire Stalemate. She is a checkmate for Percy Squire and he bribed me enough to allow her to come into the arena. Now, what is that you're carrying, Squire Stalemate? It's a jester stick. Don't make too much of a fool of yourself then. Of course you can't compete, you're a squire. You're not allowed to compete. Well, maybe let you take part in some of the skillet arms as a bit of training. So, my lady is ready to greet the knights as they come in. And here we are in the orange, Sir Cedric of Castro. competitions, but he is battle-hardened, recently returned from warfare on the continent. Welcome Sir Cedric of Perthshire. Next into the arena, Squire Stalemate's master, Sir Checkmate Fitzpercy. From Northumberland. from the noble house of Percy, but his heart is not known for its nobility. He Welcome Sir Archibald, a previous winner of these competitions, and he's determined to do again, the same again today. Let's see how well he does. Well done Sir Archibald Douglas. But last, but no means least, in the red and black, our holy knight, Sir Robert of Roslyn, based at the chapel of Roslyn near Edinburgh. Welcome, Sir Robert. Now, my lady Sapphire, if you'd be so kind as to lead our gentlemen in a short parade, they will give you a salute. And you keep your behaviour to the best. No carrying on. Of course I'll be well behaved, my lord. So once our knights have given a salute to my lady Sapphire, squires will give out these goblets of wine or stirrups cups to them. Gentlemen, flags raised please in salute. No, you're, you're a squire. You can't have wine. You're not allowed. Uh, only the knights. Only the knights. So our knights will now peel off. Uh, because of the slightly windy and hotter conditions, we are going to lose these cloaks that the knights' horses wear. The compar. Excuse me. Stalemate. That's. That is just dreadful behaviour! You're making me look like a fool! His wine's already 
gentlemen, boys and girls. That's the type of behaviour I have to put up with. So, the caparisons are coming off the horses. Our knights will ride around a little bit, introduce themselves, get their support. Are we going to be cheering for Sir Cedric of Persia in the orange? Will it be in the green and red Sir Archibald Douglas? Or will it be Sir Robert of Roslyn in the red? Oh, sure checkmate. Yes, I suppose we've got to be a bit noble. Are you going to cheer for Sir Checkmate? So, while they're going around just getting this, their support, I will find out from my Lady Sapphire if she has a favourite today. Do you have a favourite Lady Sapphire? Sir Archibald Douglas, the handsome young knight, Sir Archibald Douglas is my lady's favourite. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our first skill at arms, our knights competitors will take and I will allow stalemate in as well. They will take swords and they will proceed along the length of the tilt and they will see how many, or in the stalemate's case, how many she gets on her jester stick. That wasn't bad, stalemate. Not bad at all. Surely you will let me compete, my lord. Only at the skill with arms. So the coins have been reset. Our knight competitors will each take a sword this time. Travel along, see how many coins they can get. That one's a little bit close. Fix them all later, squire. Later. How many was that for Sir Robert? Three, was it? Four? I'm so sorry, Sir Robert. It's the old eyes, I'm afraid. I will give you your due. It was four. Four for Sir Robert. Next up, Sir Archibald Douglas, Lady Sapphire's favourite. Come on, Sir Archibald. Two, three, four. Oh, five! Well done, Sir Archibald Douglas. Well done. Being gentlemen, of course, they are making sure that the swords are held high above the horses' heads. We can always replace a knight. Horses are a bit more difficult to come by. Come on, Sir Checkmate, looking good there. Oh, well done. Well defended, Sir Archibald. Another good clash from Sir Robert and Sir Cedric that side. Now the far side, Sir Robert and Sir Archibald. Meanwhile, I'm sure that... Sir Cedric, don't turn your back on him! Be careful. Sir Robert, uh, you look injured, are you ready to continue in the actual joust proper? Sir Robert has removed himself, well done Sir Archibald. Sir Robert has removed himself from the remainder of the sword fight, but he will be able to compete in the joust. Sir Checkmate is very good at rabble rousing. And not having been betting that you guys out there are a rabble. Not at all. So, our knights have been supplied with their helmets, with their shields. Now, lances will be prepared at each end. 
The jousting competition proceeds in what we call a round-robin fashion. Each of the knights will face all of the others. Should a knight be unhorsed, he is not immediately out of the competition. He must be forced to yield. And that's the rules. Sir Robert is ready at the palace end. Sir Checkmate Fitzpercy is ready at the gate end. When you're ready, gentlemen. Come on, Sir Robert. Come on, Sir Checkmate. A good hit from both the knights. Solid hits on the shields. And I'll just reiterate, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, coming down the tilt on their horse, they are riding without the use of stir uh, the reins. Well done, Sir Cedric. I sense a little bit of playing with each other as they see whether their competitor has a certain technique. Here comes Sir Cedric again against Sir Archibald. Good one. Well done, Sir Cedric and Sir Archibald. Sir Archibald will now return. This time, he will face Sir Checkmate Fitzpercy. Come on, Sir Archibald. Yes. A really good hit on Sir Checkmate's shield, forcing him to drop it. Now Sir Checkmate will return, and I must admit, hands up to the squires, they've been so efficient, I'm not having to shoot at them much. Well done! So, Sir Checkmate, Sir Robert of Roslyn! Well done, Checkmate. Lovely solid hit there. Robert is just about ready to return from the gate end. He's now going to face Sir Cedric. Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oh, a broken lance! Sir Cedric has hit Sir Robert with sufficient force to actually break the lance tip. Hopefully he's not injured Sir Robert too much. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give him some support. Get him back up and vertical. Come on, Sir Robert. Come on. We know you can do it. Still, mate, stop that. Go on, hit him. A lovely hit from Sir Archibald that time.